Hi Leo, this is your weekly reading for the week of August 28th to September 3rd. I have a new location since I'm camping this weekend. Camping with my doggie. I'm sitting in front of a beautiful lake and the sky is like filled with fluffy clouds and it's getting to be almost dinner time. Almost campfire time. As usual, we light the Palo Santo to cleanse the space for Leo. We cleanse the space for Leo. Okay, let's begin. We have finding grace and we have integration. I think at this time you're really wanting to get your, yeah, just what the card says, your sense of grace back. You've learned a lot recently and this week is going to be a week of you really um, finding a sense of peace within yourself, a sense of peace, a sense of ease. And you're going to be yeah, integrating a lot of lessons that you have learned recently. The Empress and Strength. Okay. All right. I think um, here's your Finding Grace and Integration card. Okay. Finding Grace and Integration. You have the Empress and you have strength in reverse. So I think something is kind of getting to you this week that's making you not feel like 100%, right? Not making you feel 100%, making you feel um, slightly insecure. Gonna be a week where you're wanna you're gonna wanna um, do a lot of self care. Journal, take that bubble bath, go for that walk, light the candle. I saw the high priestess in reverse twice in here so far, so I think you're feeling a little bit. Um, disconnected from your intuition at this time the empress in reverse can do that to us make us feel a little insecure and a little uncertain about our moves so i think yeah this is going to be a week for you to need to really balance everything out All right, the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. I honestly think you're feeling a little bit um, tired this week. I think you're feeling a little on, I don't want to say lazy, I'm sorry, I'm not accusing you of being lazy, but just kind of blah. 
I think you're feeling kind of blah, don't really know what direction to go this week. You have your um, Ten of Wands, so you have so many burdens on you right now, so many things that you have to take care of, but I think it's one of those weeks where you're just like, yeah, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Okay. Interesting. Um, I don't know if there, if there's a Pisces in your life that you have going on right now, um, but the Pisces got all three of these same cards, just saying, in their reading. Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles, um, eight of pentacles. All right. So thinking about moving into a new direction. Okay. Really contemplating where the next step is going to be working with other people. And, you know, maybe it's a new business contract or you have new people that are going to be coming as employees, or you're going to be working at a new company and you're going to be working hard and really fine tuning your craft in this process. Uh, but again, Pisces got these cards, so I wonder if there's a Pisces in your life somewhere. Okay, so Queen of Swords in reverse with Temperance, okay? So you're really going to have to um, do a good job this week at not getting too much in your head. Not being too cold or snappy or harsh with how you're communicating you're going to have to take what comes along to you and um, work with the energy that you're being provided with, okay? You have to find balance in your situation. The Finding Grace card is just like, is just like the Temperance card, okay? So this is going to be a week where we're taking a couple of extra deep breaths. We are stretching in the morning. We are thinking about what we're saying it before we're saying it because our tone this week with the Queen of Swords in reverse could be a little harsh, okay? And with that strength in reverse, it's going to be a tough week for you to be able to kind of rein yourself back in and remember the loving nurturer that you are, okay? So just take it easy this week, okay? Find the balance. Woosa. I think you've been doing a lot of, you know, reading on mindfulness and how to, you know, maintain a state of calm through whatever happens. But this week's going to be one of those weeks that tests your patience. Yeah, I would, I would, um, you have to, you're going to have to be able to see outside of yourself this week. You're going to have to get creative with how um, you're really able to, see past your own ego this week and not let the people around you affect you or yourself affect you for that matter. You know, you might just have some insecurities this week that you can't work through or having a tough time working through. But if you can get creative in how you work through this, then it's going to be a lot easier on you. Okay. It'll be a lot easier on you. That's what I have for you at this time, Leo. I hope everything goes okay. All right. Bye-bye.